Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone is well. Aries, guess what? It's finally your turn. Sorry you had to go next to last. That's just what the universe decided when I shuffled the cards before I started the cycle. So, hope there's no hard feelings. Anyway, this reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of August, 2020, if it resonates with you. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Please keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can be vice versa. It may even play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. And cross watchers, y'all are welcome here too. So, thanks for coming by, if I forget to say it later. Alright, we're going to go over what's going on with you, what's going on with them, the obstacle, what can be done, give you a little bit of advice. Why are you here, Aries? Fool in the reverse. Gun shy a little? You? Wow. Hmm. That, it was just the first thing that popped into my head. I don't know why. <laughs> Might be looking a little bit before you're leaping this time around. That's that's amazing, actually. Not going to dog on that at all. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Hanged man in the upright. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Okay, um, you might possibly, f either you're feeling a little bit hung up or they are, maybe, or you could just be accepting of the situation or you feel that they are, we'll throw some clarity on it here in a second, what do you think of them, high priestess, you may think there's a deep connection, Maybe you're kind of thinking like they're, they got a little bit of a connection to source. Maybe you see them as an intuitive person. I'm sensing a connection here. What do you want from them? Four of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. hmm. You might want to close this door for good. We'll get clarity in a second. How do they feel about you? Page of Pentacles in the reverse pops out for that. Okay. Slow moving. Could quite, there's no communication. Could quite literally um, have no harsh feelings maybe? No apologies. Um, we'll throw clarity on that. What do they think of you? Hermit in reverse. Head in the sand. Complete, completely just gone all ostrich. Just not even paying attention. You've gone more than internalization in their eyes. You, you, it's like you disappeared. Whoa. You can't find your own inner light, let alone the light. Know what I'm saying? Whoa. Where they want from you, the Empress. Aries, who are you dealing with? Huh. This just killed this. Okay, from the first card, this is completely completely out of left field. I don't even know what's going on on my table right now. What's the obstacle? Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone may well have gone completely ghost. What can be done? Nine of Wands reverse. Walls tumbling down. 
Let's get a little clarity for our Aries friends tonight. I don't know what's going on with y'all, but um, I think I'm going to tally up all my Aries friends and see what's up. I'll tell you that right now. Are you okay? Everything okay? okay? What's going on? Hope somebody's not hung up on me. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for my Aries friends for August 2020, please? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, August 2020. Why is the hangman here? Thanks. Queen of Pentacles. Ah. One more. Of swords reversed. Ah. Oh, wow. Okay. Accepting of the situation, possible emotional hang ups. Cycle didn't end. You still have a light in your eyes for this person. Just a little bit. Okay, maybe a lot of it for some of you. See, I'm looking at this Queen of Pentacles and I'm looking at this Empress and I'm starting to wonder. Some of you may be having a hard time trusting your own judgment. Huh. Okay. Why is the high priestess here? For what Aries thinks of the other person. Eight of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Okay. Ten of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups in the upright. Oh, wow. There was a connection here. I think someone couldn't put the work in anymore. Somebody wasn't happy. It's definitely a connection. This was like deep soul crap. This was, this was deep. Somebody couldn't put the work in anymore. Somebody wasn't happy. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Six of Wands reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. There may have been a return at some point that did not go so well. And things were illuminated. Truths came to light. I think you still... You still see a shine in your eyes for this person. You do. But for whatever reason, you know it wouldn't work out. But you think it wouldn't work out. Take it however resonates. Why is the four of wands reversed for what Aries wants from the other person? From them, of them, with them, for them. 
Thank you. <laughs> High Priestess reversed. Wow. Aries. You still... You want to close the door. You don't want this connection anymore. This is going to sound strange. You might even see this person in your dreams. You might hear songs and think about them. You might be watching something on, you know, a tube and you see a scene in a show and you, you tear up a little bit because you think about them. Y'all up in each other's energies. Could be another fire sign you're dealing with. I'm king of wands here. You still, you still hold the torch for them. Why King of Wands? I'm almost afraid to look. The shadow side and the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is in the reverse. You still, you feel this connection. It is binding and you don't want it. Some of you may want to explore other options. This causes confusion and confused feelings. You could possibly not want them to explore other options. But at the same time, you don't want this connection anymore. Oh my goodness, Aries. What is up with this? Not trusting your own judgment? Looking before you leave? Can't start on the new path because you're still cemented into the old one? I don't know. That's, that's, wow. Wow, why is the Page of Pentacles here for how the other person feels about Aries? Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed here? Hi. I'm not taking 20 cards. Two of Swords reversed popped out. Four of Wands reverse popped out. No apologies, no communication. I feel like a difficult decision had to be made. Doors had to be closed. One more. Sun card and in the upright. They feel the connection too. They feel it too. Why is the hermit reversed here? Page of Pentacles reversed again. No apologies. No communication. Eight of Swords reversed. Trying not to get all wrapped up in it. Trying to come out of that cage. But your head's in the sand. Hermit reversed. I don't get it either. Same cards keep coming up over and over. You're not seeing it. They think you're not seeing it. Well, obviously, you want this connection to be over with. You feel bound to it. It might even creep you out a little bit. It might be creeping you both out a little bit. It's creeping me out a little bit. All right, why is the Empress here? Four of 
for what the other person wants from Aries. Ten of Wands, release the burden. They want newness to come out of this. The release of burdens. One more. Three of Wands. One hit the floor. Hold on. I hate it when they do that. Yeah, don't laugh at my pants. Seven of Pentacles. Patience. Waiting in patience. Close the burdensome cycle, but they want to wait and see what fruits. They want to see what can come out of it. I don't know who's more confused, you or them. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for what the obstacle is? Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed here? Three of Cups, Nine of Wands reversed, Page of Pentacles. Somebody went ghost. There's no communication. The obstacle here is the walls tumbling down and the reunion. All things being fair, fluid, and vice versa, somebody does not want this anymore. And somebody wants to see where it could go. I don't know who's who. Aries, I'm kind of getting the feeling that you're the one that went ghost. I'm kind of getting the feeling that some of you may have tried it again or wanted to. Things came to light. You definitely still feel the pull and the connection with each other. But somebody's afraid to take the leap of faith. Somebody's like, I don't know. That's a dark path right there. That cliff looks really steep. Why is the Nine of Wands here for reversed for what could be done? Oh, Aries, what have you gotten yourselves into now? Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. <sighs> Why the Four of Pentacles? Knight of Cups reversed. Put the other two back. They didn't show themselves. The moon in strength. So what needs to be done is walls need to come tumbling down. Honest conversations need to happen. Trust needs to be restored. But all in good time. All in good time. Why the moon? One card for the moon, please. Why the moon? 
I said one, not five. Thanks. One card. The tower was up at the top, by the way. We'll see if it comes back out. I'm not even taking them if they're clumping in fives. Two of wands. Letting go of the past, moving forward into the future. Does that mean you let go of the connection, let go of the person, or let go of the crap? I guess that all depends on if this resonates with your story and what you choose to do with the message given to you. Now, doesn't it? Let's get your advice. Four of Pentacles in the reverse, King of Cups in the reverse. Some of you may need to release some negative emotions, negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative energy, and not allow yourself to be emotionally closed off to this situation. I, I dare say some of you possibly were a little bit emotionally closed off. You've got to say enough of that. Strength in the reverse, the emperor in the upright, there you are. There you are, my friends. Your penance is reversed in the tower. Okay. Don't let always having to be in charge drain you. You don't always, don't always have to be in charge of every situation. You don't always have to be on top. You don't always have to be the dominator. There are polarities in every relationship. You can't snuff out the other person's energy just because you feel like you always have to be right. And I'm not saying that to pick on Aries. That's really what I'm generally taking out of this. Eight of Pentacles reversed in the tower. Well, don't put energy into things that you know are going to be a catastrophe. That's what I'm getting out of that. I don't know who that's for. world in the chariots and for some of you it may be time to close that cycle out and just emotionally and physically distance yourself from it all together and that's okay there's no harm in that I mean obviously judging by what I'm seeing here this is a powerful binding connection that you don't want anymore I guess you leave that one up to the universe don't you But just remember those powerful binding connections. Sometimes people come into your life for a reason. And sometimes they leave to make room for other people. And sometimes they come back. Especially if there's unfinished business. As far as communication goes at this point, I have the star and the ace of swords in the reverse. The star is in the upright. Healing has to take place here. And sometimes silence nurtures healing. And sometimes not communicating is probably your best option. It's a process. Everybody does it differently. One more set on that just to even the energies out a little bit. And I think we're going to call it a month of August. Seven of Wands, King of Cups. Both in the upright. I think you need to get a handle on your emotions and your thoughts and your feelings. Maybe even get a little bit of a handle on your demons. 
before you open yourself up emotionally again. I don't know who needed that message, but somebody needed it. Okay, Aries, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your time. I love you guys to death. You guys are great. One heck of an August already. Okay. Tell you the same thing I told everybody else. Your September reading will be done before I go on vacation at the end of the month. So they will all actually be done by the 1st of September. That is the goal. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks for stopping by. Be blessed. Have a good one. And I'll catch you guys soon. Love you to bits. Really? Come on.